This is Eden Wilson, Miss Chicago's Outstanding Teen 2020. Welcome back to my series on prostate cancer awareness. If you missed the last introduction, I'll put a link to it in the description. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and I want you to know as much about prostate cancer as possible so that you will know how to keep your loved ones healthy. I'll be posting several videos on how to help our parents and loved ones live a healthier lifestyle. Yes, so this recipe we got from uh, ProstateCancerFoundation.org from the uh, 30 Healthy Foods Challenge. And healthy eating is actually really, really important for um, lowering your risk for getting advanced prostate cancer and the progression of prostate cancer. So you can help slow that down. And if you already have prostate cancer, then it will help you live a longer life. So eating healthy, low sodium, low fats from red meats, eating a lot of fish. We actually do eat a lot of fish. My dad makes the best thing. So good. Yes. So he like gets it from the like the like the fresh thing, like not like the frozen salmon. You get BJ's, the kind that you get it's like in the little the little little foam pan with plastic over it. And he's just like it looks like it's the actual real fish. He uses that kind of fish and then he seasons it up real nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to get too emotional. I'm gonna drag this. I got something that's already cut up. I can't see the What was I talking about? I forgot. Eating lots of fish. Oh yes, fish. Fish is good. Not a lot of fat, not a lot of sodium. That's why. That's why the tomatoes have no added salt and there's no sodium broth. Also, lots of vitamins are important. We used to not um, really buy vitamins like that, but recently we have during the pandemic because you know you have to keep your immune health up. It's uh, none of us have gotten coronavirus yet, but it's just still important. There's also certain risk factors. Basically, well, there's so there's it can be age related or it can be uh, race related. Like African Americans are twice as likely to die from it, and also are also, and are also likely to get diagnosed earlier. And then also if you have family history. We have uh, my great uncle and cousin has, and also certain like other diseases, uh, history of breast cancer. Oh, now they're wet. They feel weird. My poor lentil. And also, where you live can also change it because um, you need lots of vitamin D. And so, if you live above uh, Utah and uh, yes. Philadelphia, then you are also at higher risk because of the lack of sunlight. Oh gosh, it's like 
Are they gone? Because I'm still crying. <laughs> yeah, we live in Illinois, so we're not in a good place for sunlight. It was actually dark all day today. I don't even think I saw the sun today. It was just clouds the entire time. And I, it didn't even rain. It was just dark just because. So now we have onions. We have red bell peppers. And we have garlic. In a large, heavy-bottomed Dutch oven, heat olive oil over medium heat. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Yeah, you're supposed to uh, add onions and red bell peppers. Yep. Well, it's supposed to be in there for seven minutes. Until they're soft and light brown, stirring occasionally. Why did you choose this as your platform? Well, because uh, my grandpa and my great uncle both died from prostate cancer, and it hits really close to home because it, it's mostly Af it's African American men are twice as likely to die from it, which means, and it's mostly because of not getting screened early enough. Early enough, because, because a lot of times people don't like to talk about it because it's an uncomfortable subject. But I think. It's, it's better to choose an uncomfortable subject over the death of a loved one. So basically my goal is to start the conversation and help everyone be aware and um, informed about prostate cancer and the importance of getting screened early and what the risk factors are and if they, that applies to them and what they can do to live a healthier lifestyle. and. Share everything, share everything with, with, with their family and friends. Be open office. and talking. All that good All stuff. That good stuff. <laughs> the screening process is actually not that bad. I thought that it was a bigger deal than it was. About two years ago, I did the screening process, and it was pretty simple. I went to the doctor, he asked me questions. It was done in less than 30 minutes. Also, um, age. It's If you have any of the risk factors, then it is better to get screened at 40, but 45 is just the general age, and the most the average age we can get diagnosed is around 63. this video you can go to the prostate cancer 10 facts video and the intro video and share those share them with your family and friends share them on social media also there i have a page on many versus cancer.org where you can donate to prostate cancer research so i'll put a link to where you can do that down in the description but basically what you need to do is share talk to your parents talk to your doctor and basically just 
share the information with anyone you come across because it's really important for everyone to know about this because it's one in nine men in the U.S. will get diagnosed with prostate cancer. That's a lot of people. There's a lot of people who are going to get affected by this. A lot of people who have a higher risk. So whenever you can share it, share it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and follow me on all of my social media because I'll be sharing a lot there. But yes, thank you guys all so much for watching. It was I had a great time with you, Daddy, and a great time with you guys. And I really hope that you'll try this recipe because it's really good. Make sure to eat healthy and share the good news, the word. Bye. See ya. Will you join me in raising awareness and helping grown-ups get healthy? If you would like to donate to the Prostate Cancer Foundation, please visit my page on manyversuscancer.org. I'll put the link in the description. Stay tuned for more videos. Go get your parent or guardian to watch with you. Use the share button to text videos to your family and friends so that they can join the fight. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you very soon. Take care.